This is McFly Angler. starts now. You will want a long shank streamer hook like these Risen 300s, and today I'm tying in a size 8. Place the hook securely in your vise. For thread, I really like this Vivas 6 eye, and today I'm using olive. Start the thread right behind the hook eye and snip or snap off the waist. Then bring your thread down to the start of the bend of the hook, and then back up a wrap or two. For the tail, we will be using marabou. I'm tying an olive bugger, so I'm using olive. If the marabou is fluffy enough, then grab just one feather. Stroke up the fibers and grab just the tip. Measure out the tail to about a hook shank length, and then wet the marabou to make the tie-in easier. Tie down the marabou at the measurement with a few tight wraps. And then wrap up the hook shank until you reach a couple hook eye lengths from the eye of the hook. Now trim off the waist marabou, and then clean up that section with a couple tight wraps. Then bring your thread back down to the start of the tail. Now we need some crystal flash. I'm selecting two strands, but you could use more if you want. Tie the flash in on the side of the tail with a couple tight wraps. Then pull the forward facing flash rearward and on the other side of the tail and tie that down as well. Then cut that flash to the same length as the other side. Bring your thread back up to just shy of the eye of the hook. Now we need some chenille and this rayon chenille will work great. Today I'm using olive. A piece this long should tie a couple of these flies. Tie in the tip of the chenille near the head of the fly and tie it down to the start of the tail, ensuring that the chenille does not rotate on the hook. Now we need some wire. This is gold brassy sized wire. A piece this long should tie a few of these flies. Tie this in on the side of the hook like so, and then end with your thread right behind the hook eye. Now start making touching wraps up the hook shank with the chenille until you reach just shy of the hook eye. You do want to leave a small space behind the hook eye. Capture the chenille with a couple wraps over it, and then a couple wraps in front as well. And then cut off the excess chenille, and then clean up that section with a few wraps. As you can see, there is a small space left behind the eye. Now we need some hackle. Last week I tied a woolly bugger with a soft hackle, but today I will be using this American Hackle Rooster Cape. These fibers are a little more stiff. Pull off a feather where the fibers are about two times the hook gap width, and then prepare the feather for tie-in by stripping off all the fuzzies at the base of the feather. I actually pulled off a few more here so I could start at a more flexible section of the stem. Anyway, I like to tie this in with an X wrap over the feather so it sticks out perpendicular from the hook shank. And then I pull the stem back and tie that down as well so the feather will not pull out. Then trim off the waist piece of stem. Grab the tip of the feather with some hackle pliers. And then proceed to make wraps down the fly. Start with two wraps right behind the head here and then open spiral wrap down the hook shank while stroking the fibers rearward with each wrap. When you reach the tail, grab the wire and capture the feather with it. Pull off the hackle pliers so they are out of the way and proceed to make counter wraps up the hook shank with the wire. You will trap a few of the hackle fibers, however if you wiggle the wire through it, it will help to trap less. When you reach the head, then capture the wire with a couple tight wraps over it. Then pull it rearward and make a few wraps in front of the wire as well. Do not cut the wire though, just helicopter the wire off flush like so. Then pull all the fibers rearward and make a few wraps over the front of them to angle them all rearward. And then you can whip finish your fly. Make sure you do not forget to cut off the excess feather out the back of the fly here. To cement the head, I really like this ultra-thin UV resin from Solarez. 
Just paint a little on the whip finish and it's thin enough to penetrate the thread wraps. Then you can cure it with your UV light so it's hard and your fly should stay durable through multiple fish strikes. And there we have it, the finished woolly bugger. This version with a stiffer hackle like this is what I use for fast moving water like in streams and creeks. The stiffer hackle doesn't collapse like the softer hackle version and it still pushes some water. However, when the water isn't moving fast and you're not stripping the fly fast, the hackle doesn't move quite as much as the soft hackle version. As you can see while stripping it, there is some movement, but if you remember last week's fly, the soft hackle really flowed nicely in the water. This version will push more water than the soft hackle, which could be beneficial in some situations. Anyway, no matter what hackle you use, the technique is the same. Go ahead and tie up a few in different hackle types to see which works best for you. And let me know in the description section how you like tying your buggers. As you all know, I have gotten you all discounts from both www.risenfly.com and www.dooliesflyfishing.com. Dooley's offers great prices on all of the name brand fly tying materials, and Risen Fly manufactures their own hooks, rods, reels, and other gear for fly fishing. Their products are top quality, and best of all, they are priced very reasonably. Not only are the prices at these two shops great, but like I said, they are offering all of my subscribers a discount. So use McFly at checkout when ordering from either of these shops, and you will get an additional 15% off of their already great prices. I want to also thank all of my patrons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel, and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, participate in live streams, and more. So go to www.patreon.com forward slash McFlyAngler to sign up today. I also thank all of you who share all my videos with your friends and your continued support by hitting the like buttons and subscribing. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.